We think. <laughs> Joe Drilling is streaming, what is it? River City Ransom? River City Ransom Underground. I'm Eric Allen, and Mike Ailes is here. Yep. And Morbid Coffee uh, and, is here. And uh, Morbid Whoa. Coffee. Yeah. Does it working now? Nah, I still Can can't we, are we sure? It, but it made a video of your last one, so I'm going to assume it's just like a problem connecting to the host or something. Oh, I'm God. seeing stuff. Okay. Okay, that's good. Enough. All right. The Luchador. So hey, yeah. So so I'm gonna just show you guys sort of the character breakdown. So first of all, one thing that's fun is you can change the skin tone of. Like uh, yeah, sure. And he's a wrestler. That's really why. But you can choose a bunch of different characters. There's I think six right now. So Pruvy is a break dancer. Paul is a boxer. Glenn is a karate fighting dude, and then you've got Alex and so Ryan. The so this better. game is not... Yes. <laughs> um, this game does not take the rest of the Kunio series into account, right? So there's this whole big Kunio series in Japan, and this game says fuck all that. This is a sequel to the River City Ransom that we know in the United States. So they're named Alex and Ryan, and they're actually 20 years older. You can see Ryan's little salt and pepper at the temples. Um... They're they're twenty. Right, Alex and Ryan are twenty years older than they were in River City Ransom. As am I. Um, yeah, right. And th the rest of them are now current high school students. So Bruno, Pruvi, Paul, and Glenn are now current students at River City. So Alex high. and Ryan are the weird old dudes who hang out with high school kids. They don't. What happened is the the, the they're called the Flock is the name of the gang that the four kids are part of. And they've been framed for a kidnapping. Oh, okay, so I just got the cops on me, so we're going to go back into the hideout, because we don't want that. Um, they, the, the, they've been framed for a kidnapping, and so now all the other gangs are trying to collect a bounty on them. And Alex and Ryan show up to kind of save the day, because they're like, this definitely seems like something Slick would do. Because like, Slick just got out of prison or something for kidnapping uh, Roxy. Um, so, so you can change whenever you want. I think there's even more characters that can get unlocked as you go, I believe. Um, your basic mechanics are the same. You kill, you beat people into coins. Um, it's pretty smooth experience so far. The thing is that pretty much every move that's additional to your standard punch and kick have to be unlocked. And, um, it's a bit of a hassle because right now, so this game just came out yesterday. It was kickstarted. I think it kickstarted so two you're or three years ago. If this game was a little bit more like Wolverine Adamantium Rage and had a more robust moveset, it would be better. Uh, no, no, that's no. not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you had a little bit more robust <laughs> moveset at the beginning, it might be a little better. But you, apparently, the moveset is, like, ridiculously expansive. Like, you, you, there's, like, I was looking at some of the later... Because the, one of the problems is when you go to buy moves, some of the moves have a level requirement, but it doesn't tell you what the level requirement is. The guy will just be like, oh, you're not, like, good enough to use that move yet. So you don't know what level you have to be to be able to unlock, you know, some of these moves. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, Maybe that's something that's Which is kind of a pain in the ass, but... Yeah, it seems like they, they're taking that feedback, because a lot of people are providing that feedback to them. But apparently... Um, uh, when you get up there, there's like, like I've seen some combos where it's like punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, punch, kick is like a combo for a character. And that's like a full, fully animated and like varied combo attack. So like you've got a ton of moves, you just have to earn them. And every, every character has a totally unique and custom move set. Um, so it's not like the original River City Ransom where Alex and Ryan were basically the same and you could vary them as you bought different moves. Like, when you go into the dojos and everything, um, the, the moves for each character that are on sale when you go into a dojo are different. Um, and so your basic control... And it's also got a day-night cycle, which I guess is kind of... Like, some of the reviews said, like, the day-night cycle is kind of unnecessary and overcomplicates things. I haven't really run across anything besides some stores being closed at night. I wonder if there's a way to, like, that would... quickly shift from one to the other. There should always be a way to do that in a game that... If there is going to be... I mean, if, if day and night is going to affect, like, when certain events occur or whatever, then you need to be able to, uh, to change quickly. So here's the thing. This is another problem that I've had. You, you're so sort of fragile in the beginning that, like... 
it's really easy to get killed. Um, and health area, recovery pretty, items. Uh, right. And there just aren't... Um, there just aren't enough easily accessible recovery items. Um, like, because like I said, some of the stores are closed at night and that kind of thing, and it's just like, that makes it a little more difficult in the early goings than it probably needs to be. Um, I guess the game is like 8 to 10 hours long. Um, you can block, but I keep forgetting to do it, because much like, actually, I just sort of went through with Resident Evil 7, I'm not used to being able to block in a River City Ransom or Resident it's Evil game, so like, out. it's hard to get used to. Really uh, backer, so as a Kickstarter backer, I got my code on Monday night, um, but I didn't actually start playing until yesterday. How does this compare to the, um, uh, the uh, 3DS one that you played last year? So, that one is much more traditional. Um, that one plays a lot more like like the original River City Ransom. Um, but, I mean, I, I like it. I like the potential this game has. I just have to get to a point where I have a little few more moves and like a little bit more stamina, and I'm not getting my ass kicked before I can, like... Get, and right now you'll notice that I'm just spamming this kick combo because that's the only combo I have. Like, if I punch, it's just one punch over and over and over again because I don't have anything else on my punch. How long so, have you been playing this uh, See, so yeah, you got a, about an hour and a half. Wow, and you still only have, like, one combo? Well, so the, there's a tutorial that's like a recap of the last bit of the original River City Ransom. You basically replay the fight against the Dragon Twins and Slick. Yeah. And you have more moves in that part. And apparently Bruno, like, I, I made a bad choice, because Bruno apparently has the least moves of anybody at the, to start. But I didn't know that when I picked him, so that's kind of annoying. Um, like, I have one more move yeah, that I guess is a grapple. In the, uh, the yeah. 2D brawlers now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, oh yeah, so, I, so now I finally have a grapple move um, that's like a Dusty Rhodes <laughs> elbow. Yeah. Which is cool. Um, but I need, like, I just feel like, the, I wish they would have started you with a few more moves. Because when you play as um, Alex and Ryan in the Can tutorial. Can you, like, tire up in the top corner and hit them with that? Okay. Yeah, definitely. And why aren't you? Um, yeah. Because swinging, swinging a tire is like. Yeah, see, I got kicked in the gut before I could hit him with it. Because you swing. It's not like the original River City Ransom, where, like, some of those, like, the heavier objects, they have, like, much more heft than they did. In the original River City Ransom, all items basically weighed nothing, but it takes time to swing the heavier, like, crates and tires and shit take time to swing. Grand so, Slam was always sometimes my favorite not item as... to use in River City Ransom. Uh, I, I, mean, I assume that that's a thing that you can get at some point in this game, but I don't have it yet. <laughs> Uh, so I can't... the names and the quotes at the bottom are the characters that you're fighting? Yeah, it's like River yep. City Ransom. It's, yeah, it's River City Ransom. So I can't quite decide what I think of the visuals, because they're really elaborate and... I like them a lot, it, actually. But, but it's, go it's, ahead. It's, it's got so much animation that it doesn't feel like the old games, but it, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to get mad at really fluid 2D animation. But it does feel like a little intense compared to River City Ransom. And the characters are definitely... They're not entirely in the style of the old game, but at the same time, there's enough stuff that really looks like it kind of fits. It's just weird to see this kind of, like, up higher color palette, you know, slightly more pixels per character than in the old style. It's weird. It, it's not unsuccessful, but I can't quite decide if I think they're pulling it off or not. I really like the way it looks. Yes. But, so, what so I can buy a cat, but I'm not really sure why. Like, I don't know what happens if I buy a cat. So what is your current? Um, what's your current I, goal? What are you trying to accomplish, like, in this? Yep. So right now I have. There's a couple things that I can do. Um, I can't find the door to get back out of this pet shop. Um, oh, there we go. Um, there's a couple things I can do. I have a sub. I have a, an optional task to go to the mini golf course, and the the nerd gang has taken over the mini golf arcade. <laughs> so I can go clean them out if I want to. But there's also a, um, my main quest is to find a guy who's going to tell me where Slick is. That I have to, you know. So this is a gym. You can see some other indie game characters making, uh, uh, well, yeah, 
I think those are all in-game characters making cameos in the back. Castle Crashers. I um, see uh, Hyper Light Drifter. I'm not sure who the Flaming Bear Dude is. Yeah, I'm not sure who the Flaming Bear Dude is, but then is that Risk of Rain on the, so. all the way on the right? That's, in the little spacesuit? No, that's too goofy looking. I think the Flaming Bear guy was that, like, fan made Smash Brothers game. Oh. Oh, maybe, yeah. So, as you can see, uh, uh, Bruno gets a Poison Mist attack, but I'm not high enough level to use it yet. Um, and that's another big problem that this game... So, th let me, let's go to the moves list here. So, these are my moves that I have right now. Um, some of the moves in, on some of the characters, and this is the thing the developers have said they're fixing with the first patch, some of the moves are not listed well, or, like, correctly. Like, apparently there's a bunch of Proovies uh, attacks... She's the, the black girl, the, the breakdancer. A bunch of her moves are just, like, totally listed completely wrong <laughs> when you go to the moves list. And I don't know how that happened, but that's something that they're going to fix, apparently. So how, so how early is this in the game? This is... I'm about an... Uh, this is, like... Oh, nice. Okay. So I can... Now I have a back attack where I, where I drop an elbow on some, some fucker. Um, this is about an hour and a half in, give or take. Like how far in? the whole game would you say that it's like it's the one thing that um i've done like the first the first like quest for lack of a better the, the one thing that's term. turning me off in the game right now is how much of a damage sponge every enemy is this early into the game yeah 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 that's the thing they, they didn't do a really a great job of like, like it it feels like the <laughs> yeah. game is balanced for four players, and if you're not playing four players, it just punishes you, and that's a huge turn off for me. Or at least it looks yeah, like it. Yeah, that's legit. Does it have online too, or is it just? Uh... It does. It does. It has four player online co-op, and I think there's like a six player online versus mode, I think, or something like that. But um, yeah. So this is my problem right now is that I just there's no there's no place I'm aware of at this time to get any recovery items. So I have no health right now. Like if I get knocked down, I'm dead, and I have no idea how to like rectify that. <laughs> like I'm at the Grotto Mall, and there's no shops in the mall where I can buy food or drinks that will help me not get just fucking annihilated. Um, so it's almost like, you know, I don't have very much money now, so if I die, I lose some money. Maybe it's a good idea to just die on purpose. Um, I'm gonna try to clean these nerds out of the arcade and see what I, see if that works out for me, but I think I'm probably gonna die before, you know, that happens. <laughs> um, I have a baseball bat. Oh, I remember, the thing about weapons is that weapons are cool, they're very helpful, but, um, you can't block when you're holding a weapon. Blocking for chumps. Roll, noob. And there we go. I just got killed. And now it's going to send me back to the garage. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah. So you just wasted 15 minutes, basically? And, well, no, because I, I got a new move. And all that stuff, like, carries over, right? So even if you die, like, my, I still have my back elbow. Um... And they're so, getting, like, stat increases yeah. by drinking sodas and things? Like, permanent yeah, stat Yeah, you increases. get stat increases from that. Yeah, yes. Um, but I, but I've only, I found two, so in the garage, when you first get there, um, there are two sodas on the table, and I use those. Oh, I can mug people, apparently. That's, <laughs> I just kicked that, that random dude, and he dropped a bunch of coins. And usually, kicking a civilian, like, gets the, the cops on your ass, but, um, cops don't that dare hasn't happened yet. Town. No, they definitely do. <laughs> Um, the thing is that the the gangs actually look different. They're not just like the same sprites with different colored t-shirts, which is cool. But they mix them, and as as uh, Coffee was sort of saying, like it's it doesn't really. There's not a curve where it's like you fight the nerds at the beginning, and then you sort of work your way up. Like you always just get like a random smattering of of different gangs, and sometimes they're like really tough, and sometimes they're a bunch of pushovers. And that's kind of frustrating, I too. Feel like so, I think this one is... One big thing they could do to, like, balance this out is if you're going to play solo, have less people on the screen, because just seeing yeah. that pile of enemies you have to fight through, like, that's a four-player game right there that you have to do all by yourself, even if they're only attacking you two at yeah. a time. Maybe there's, like, 20 dudes on the screen if you're playing the four-player mode. 
Oh, well, you can hit them on the ground with drop, drop. That's cool. Yep. Fatal Steps, also one of my favorite abilities in River City Ransom. And that's in this one as well. But only I think only Alex and Ryan can get. I think only Alex and Ryan can get those classic moves, maybe except for Grand Slam and stuff. But as far as like Fatal Steps, Stone Hands, Dragon Feet, that's all Alex and Ryan. Um, and that oh, that's another thing that's, I mean, understandable because it's similar to how like Scott Pilgrim was. But like, um, you know, like I'm on a road to level up Bruno right now. But if I try to use somebody else, they're at level one, so I can change characters whenever I want. But nobody else is leveled up. Yeah, I find that kind of weird, Scott Pilgrim, in this game, making a brawler that's this long of a game. Like, like River City Ransom, a run from start to finish is only a couple hours. Oh, you're having a. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Like I played, I played the Scott Pilgrim game, and I went through the entire game, which is you know maybe what six hours or something like that. And at the end, I had one character who was more or less fully powered up, but not even all the way. Yeah, I had, Scott was like ridiculously OP for me when I reached the end of that game. Um, like I had the bionic arm, which just I think is that the I think that's the power up that makes like anytime you use a weapon, it just like kills pretty much everybody in one I shot. Who I play, it has. Um, but I had Scott just he was like OP and and everybody else was terrible. Um, you know, so that was kind of. Uh, Troublesome. But it's weird because now if you go back to the game, the like the, the entire first half of the game would be broke as shit because you're so strong. Right. Yeah, uh, I think if I was okay. gonna play a new River City Ransom, I think I would go with the, the three DS one for what I'm seeing here. This looks this looks a lot like um Watching you play it is a lot like how I felt when I was playing Mercenary Kings, and that like it was totally fine mechanically, but it's just like too much of doing basic, like very simple maneuvers over and over and over again. I don't know that. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it seems again, it seems like there is depth pretty quickly, in right? In order for me to like invest that much time into a game like this. Yeah, that's the thing. I think would be a really. Um would be a really good way that they could fix this is if they patched it and um you know the 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 patch made it so that you progressed a little more or maybe even you started with more a deeper move set because it seems like once you get further into the the game um you know you you have a lot of yeah it becomes like a really deep system but you have to get you have to have the patience to yeah. get there and i feel like a lot of people maybe That's won't asking a lot for like, a very basic game like this but. right i think you have to be like like you know i really really like beat-em-ups like God Hand is one of my favorite games of all time and that's like a really deep really long beat-em-up and a single player one, in but fact, you get on top access of all that. To, like, you can start um, fucking around with your combos, like, an hour into that game. Immediately, pretty much, yeah, yeah. You have a pretty, um, like, you know, a pretty so, like, wide variety of moves and stuff you can do. And also, you're, like, changing locations constantly. Um, well, this city map, I didn't show you guys the map, but, like, if you look at the map, the map is actually pretty... Yeah, and I don't know if they're, like, the stuff on the left and right, if you can leave and go to these other areas. Um... But so right now I'm working on beating up the these nerds to get them out of the arcade. But Pink B, who's that luchador who looks kind of like Iron Man that you see in Oak Hill, that's like the next storyline um, uh, objective. So, but this is the world map, and I think it probably it must get bigger. I, I feel like, but um, you know, I mean it's um, fine. It's I not, haven't played. It's just the yeah. But like if every area is like this one, where you're just like a flood of dudes that takes forty hits to kill. Um, well, the problem is that my combo right now knocks them down on the second hit. Right. <laughs> so it's like I hit them twice and they fall down, and I don't have a super effective yeah. follow-up attack even if right now. Kick would hit them while they were laying on the ground. It would accelerate the pain right. of the fights. I mean, I can drop the elbow. This, I think but, this game you know, looks really. It looks really good. But... Yeah, it looks. I don't know what just knocked me down. Double Dragon Four. It's suffering from pain game syndrome, which really upsets me. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, say it again, Coffee? Suffering from fan game syndrome, which really upsets me. It's basically the, hey, we made Mega Man, but now it's a room full of snakes. It doesn't seem that yeah, cool. Yeah, this it's game like isn't... It's not that, yeah, forward. yeah. It's just that the enemies are a little bit too uh, bullet spongy. But then again, like... In the other games, what I, when Resident Evil Ransom, what I would do is find the shop at the mall that sold a cheap item that raised one stat, and then buy fifty of them. Right. So like, maybe there's right. some way that you could be juicing your strength. Well, even in the original River City, yeah, Ransom, that like it wasn't that's enough long before you got stone hands or whatever. Yeah, that skull looks pretty good. Yeah, you can get stone hands. Well, the, the, that's sort of sort of the thing though about River City Ransom that's kind of broken is once you once you get to Benny and Clyde, who are pretty early in the game. You can just grind the shit out of them because they respawn infinitely. So you just beat the shit out of them because they drop like two bucks each or something ridiculous like that. And you can just fight them like ten times and then go buy, everything. you know, everything. And you're pretty much that. Like, and so I, that's why I get the 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 experience requirement. So here's the thing: there's a soda machine here. They're gonna call the cops on me for kicking a fucking vending machine, really? Right, and then the cops are just gonna fucking massacre me. So it's time to go. Because I don't want to fight a bunch of cops. But, like, again, I don't have any health recovery items. So, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm we supposed start, to do. Start over. It's a roguelike. And I just ran into an invisible wall. So that was, no, that yeah, was you cool. You couldn't progress, um, like, across that bridge. No, it's like, I don't know, in that by, right by that shooting gallery screen or whatever, like, I just ran into something that... Knocked me down. Kicked you. Um, I don't think so. But um, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, I wish I could. I wish I knew where there was a store at this point. Like, that would be the. <laughs> that would be. That would make all the difference if there was like an easily located store right here at the beginning of the game. But there's just not. Yeah. Maybe there is. I'm gonna go down the subway and see what the hell. Yeah. Um. So again, a couple of things that I you know a couple of quibbles. Is this out-out, um, out, or is this early access out? This is out-out. No, no, this is out-out. You know how games are these days. Um, oh, yeah. Nothing I, is really sure out until several months after. They're, they're adding... Right, and again, I... I'm, they're patching I, I kick story it to a goddamn Final Fantasy game, so, like, <laughs> you know, finished games at release is over. And it doesn't look like a bad game. It just suffers some bad decisions. Right. Yeah. I think I think that there I think that some updates could really make it. I mean again, I I love beat 'em up, so I'm prob once I get into the point where I have a ton of moves and I've leveled everybody up and I, you know, then I'll probably fucking love it, but um I like progression. You know, I, I think it's a lot to ask of someone who's not like a die-hard beat 'em up fan. I mean, that's who this to, game is meant to appeal to. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, but give them give them three. Um, and I mean this is yeah, and so this was done by a Canadian developer called Conatus Creative, and I don't think they'd done anything else prior to this. Um, like they're like the people who work there had done things. Like they they're not a bunch of total noobs, but um, they not as a company they hadn't done anything before. Um, and this game took them, I think, about three years. I want to say the Kickstarter was about three years ago. Yeah, um, thirteen. I had it up a yeah. minute ago, and then I closed it. But I think it was 2013. It certainly seems like there's a lot of stuff in this game. Yeah. Hey, health ops. This seems like a store that could be helpful. Oh, this is... What the fuck? This is a gym full of dudes who want to kick my ass. <laughs> this is not a place where I can, like, buy recovery items. This is bullshit. The Roids turf. It, it is the Roids the turf. Counter. Yeah. Maybe if you beat all these guys up, you can get some stuff. Well, I'm definitely gonna beat all these guys I up. There's a giant so. yoga ball. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, you can throw that at him too. They also spend a lot of time pelvic thrusting at you. They do. They flex and pelvic thrust at you. Yeah, it was uh, October 2013. Yeah, so the, the current games <laughs> that are coming in this series from... <laughs> they might have missed their I take though. every... Anytime I kickstart... Anytime I kickstart a video game, I take the uh, delivery yeah. date with a grain of salt. And, like, you have to, like, quintuple it, quintuple it most of the time. 
Yeah, no, this chick doesn't want to talk to me or help me Are out with sure anything. Are you sure you were in the right is... area before? Because these guys seem a lot easier to kill than the other group. Well, that's the that's the starting area where right. I was. Yeah, that that garage that he was being uh, he was respawning was his. Because uh, I feel like you're killing things a lot faster in this area than you were in the other area, which seems really off. Maybe it's like Dark Souls. You just have to you have to yeah. find a different path. You got the easiest path in Dark Souls. The Dark Souls, Souls of beat 'em ups. Don't go to the skeletons first. Right, exactly. If the the first area that looks like the, the like the easiest place to find in Dark Souls is like one of the most difficult early areas in that game. Um, so you have to go. Yeah. You have to go well, up I mean, the that's... mountain, Joe, instead of going uh, down into the catacombs. <clears throat> Or New Londo. Fuck that place. Perfect. They get back. Maybe these guys are an easier. It's just that they're not attacking as much. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem. They, like... they seem less aggressive. The guys in the gym, it seemed like well, less hits, but these guys. I mean, that's definitely a factor, right? How often they attack you and everything. Uh, apparently, I can go to the old River City High School. Yeah, well, I'm not going to find any fucking health recovery items here, so... What, if you keep going to the right, you'll find them all. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Mike. I wonder if that works. <laughs> nope. Can't keep going to the right. You're not jumping up on the fence, dude. Can you jump up on the fence? No. Well, you better be able to. <laughs> okay, well, I can, I can kick the shit out of these parking meters and get and free money. get on your so ass that's... for that. No. Well, because it's not at the golf course. Those are municipal mini -golf parking course. meters. You're damaging public property. Why would they care about a vending machine more than parking meters? Because someone at the golf course called the cops. Dirty snitches. Dragon Auto. I get it. Get it? <sighs> hey, look. More indie game characters. Oh, there's different moves here. That's neat. Kind of makes sense uh, that would have. Yeah, I don't know. What do you what do you what do you think, Eric? Hurricane Rana, Shooting Star Press, <laughs> Leg Twist. I can get the Leg Twist and the Throat Cut, so Does maybe I should go with those. You, like how those moves like combo or work within the it, context of your other nope. Moveset? I'll not until you buy them. That's real bad. Now, yeah, I mean Hurricane Rana is pretty fucking dope. Show me that, and then I'm it's true. Going to bed. Let's see if it'll let Eddie me. Eddie Guerrero would buy the Hurricane Rana. You are not a high enough level to learn the Hurricane Rana. Moves, maybe the leg. Bruno mastered throat maybe cut. Maybe the leg twist is like a uh, like a dragon screw leg whip. Kind of thing. Yeah, let's find out. Let's see who's list. Yeah, it really does need to tell you. Um, it it really does. Guys, like you said, the level that you need to be at, and also how those move. Work within the context. Uh, oh, the leg twist is apparently a, a spinning toe hold, it looks like, because you press K over a downed enemy okay. to do it. Uh, throat cut is just P. That, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if that's a combo. I don't know if that's a throw. I don't know. You know or if it's a jump maybe thing. You like, a that's the you problem. Cut that dude's throat. It won't bother you again. I mean, maybe I do. Right, but, I, but I'm saying I don't know what context to like use it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. And then you lay down and a horse poops on your face. My favorite River River City answer. <laughs> <Ransom. laughs> Do you think he can? Oh, and the other thing is you you can only save in a safe house. So you can't just save whenever you have to get back to a you safe house. You keep all your too. shit when you die, right? Uh, yeah, you keep all your shit when you die. Except you lose half your money. Like the, like the older Receipt Ransom, but everything else you keep. You keep all your levels, you keep all your, you know. So uh, I can hand the stream over to you, Eric, if you want to dick around with some emulators for a little while. Or let me try, let me, make, let me see if I can do the leg twist to somebody so we can see it before I sign yeah. off. Oh, shit, I just kicked a civilian and the cops came after me. Leg twist right, the civilian. <laughs> yeah, you don't have any money, so you don't have anything to lose. Oh, that's not a, that's not a leg twist, that's a flipping leg drop. <laughs> but not being able to attack enemies yeah, while they're down is like that's like that's. 
So that's the thing. I'm already adding moves. Like, like that already makes it cooler as having more mo having this back elbow and all this stuff. Like that helps a lot. And I again, if they just give you like one basic move of each, one basic grapple, one basic downed enemy attack, you know, that would that I think that would really help. One like yeah, hook people from combo, the beginning. A punch a kick, a combo that attaches to one of those, and then some down move like the grapple move. And then you're in business. Yeah. Then you have a full suite, and then you can start adding to that and uh, customizing your character right. how you want as you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it feels like a real that would that would help this it feels game. Like a real oversight that there's not like a demonstration before you buy the move or. Okay, so the throat cut is a throat chop, and it's a follow up attack to my regular yeah. punch. That seems pretty good. Right, so so that helps. It doesn't knock him down, but it helps. So yeah. Yeah, Eric can make a new video. So, so <laughs> the top five. Throat I am a uh, River City top Ransom. five throw chops River City Ransom that, underground. I, I should yeah. look that up and see what we're up to you on the uh, old view counter on that one. So yeah, actually, just in the time I've been talking to you guys and playing this, I feel like the game's gotten a lot better. Like I'm enjoying it a lot more now, just because I've added a you bunch really of moves and stuff. So. How much? How much uh, what? Is it under the action test? Yep. 104,000 views for that video. Mm -hmm. I did it, guys. God I put a video on me. the internet that has over 100,000 views. It's letterbox and it looks like total shit, and uh, it's apparently got a shitload of comments. I hate the internet. The internet's such garbage. So, so uh, I'm gonna, Eric. Do you want me to pass the stream? I mean, be for a half hour. I'll hang out while you fuck around with emulators, I don't or care. if you want to do that, I mean, or I'm, I can just keep playing this for 15 minutes and log. Okay, well then, um, then I'll pass. I'll pass the stream over to you, and we can keep chatting for about well, a half hour. There we go. Gabriel Alexander asked on the video, "Who else was holding their throat watching this?" <laughs> <laughs> That's legit. Yeah. It's such a bad video. Um. So yeah. All right. So I'm gonna stop streaming and hand it over to Eric. So we'll be. Right <laughs>